Hello and welcome to part 3 of this uh, tutorial series about creating 2D manga eyes in Blender. In this third part, uh, we, are, we are going to texture our um, pupils that we added in the previous part. So basically, there are two ways to do that. First, you can use an image texture and second, secondly, you can create the texture right inside Blender. I'm going to show you how to create them right inside Blender because I, I prefer this approach. The, the disadvantage of, um, of this approach is uh, because you're not using an image, you, don't, you won't have the total freedom and total control that an image texture provides. Uh, on the other hand, the, um, the texture will be procedural and therefore there will be always clear and sharp no matter the, the resolution of your render, final render. Okay, so I, I like this approach of very clean, a very clean and proper, I mean sharp look for, for anime and manga style. There will be no pixeling. Okay, so let's do it now. So we have we are done with the, with the modeling. So let's change the uh, the window layout of Blender to the second one, the compositing uh, layout. Select the pupil and uh, make it. Now we have we are using it's using the um, the the same material as the, as the eyelash. So we are, we are going to make it a different material. Call it pupil. Do the same. Okay, it's already done because they are, they are using the same mesh. And activate the nodes here for for this material. And in the input material in the node setup, choose pupil. Okay. If I save and render it, it should look similar. So f the first thing, we want to separate the inside of the eye from the outside. I mean the pupil. The inside of the pupil will be darker. And the outside will have a... Uh, the outer ring will have a, the color of the eye. So in the texture panel, add a new texture and call this one um, pupil background. You'll understand just a bit later why we call it background, but basically this this whole this texture will will contain the whole ranges of uh, the whole range of colors from the outer uh, ring to the right to the center of the eye. So this um, texture will be a blend texture. Choose spherical and enable the color ramp. So, so just to make sure that it works, we'll invert, we'll just make it uh, black and white. Remember not to remember, avoid using completely black or dark colors. Okay, it, here it's important to use, sorry, it's important to use the same um, color for the outer. This will be the outside of your pupil, this, this uh, gray color. It's, it's important that it's exactly the same color as the uh, color of the eye. I mean the, uh, the white, white part of the eye. We can remove that. Okay, so this one was a uh, value of 0.9. So in my pupil, I also should make sure that the background texture uh, in the color ramp, the outside is also 0.9 in, in value. Okay, so save and render. Okay, so now you can uh, notice that our eye is smaller. It looks smaller, but it's, it's okay, it's normal, because now inside the pupil, we have made the ramp too small, so we can put this color right outside, right to the to the outside. 
and make it bigger like this okay so first I mean you ha you have to notice that right now you, you can control the size of the eye like this so make it you make the you change the side the size of the pupil sorry just by changing the position of the the colors inside the ramp okay but uh, if you just want to scale the eye, it's better to scale the object and not touch. I mean, it's easier. You can easily, more easily animate the scale of an object rather than. I'm not sure if I can, if we can even animate this these uh, color positions inside the ramp. Okay, so this should be used only for texturing, not for animation. Okay, now we add a new. Uh, I'm using control plus plus uh, left um, uh, mouse button to add new new colors and then you can delete them with this button okay I add two new one two two colors the first one here I just keep it the same color and the second one I change it I will make it or actually I will keep it value point two and I will change the color in the outside frame. So value of 0.5. Oh, let's give our our girl some pretty pink eyes, maybe. Okay. So now, to you can copy. Just put your mouse your mouse above a color. Press Control C. Choose another color, and you can use Control V to copy and paste colors from one stop one color stop to the other okay so now you can see where we're going if if you want to make the pupil bigger or smaller you can just control it here you can also if you prefer to have uh, gradients but i prefer not to have too many gradients right now okay so we have the basic color there is uh, something very important in manga eyes it's the uh, reflections you know usually they have big or very strong reflections in the eye to accentuate how cute or helpless a character is so this can be done also in blender you have to play in this area so we are going now this um, uh, this texture you know it will be will be like this we stay like this we will add a new texture still of uh, still of type blend and use a ramp a spherical shape and this will be a reflection so don't make it I mean you can make it as big or as small as as you like but we won't make it too big and make sure that the outside is black and the inside is here you can make it white or almost white but we'll keep it white because it will be a reflection so it's important that the outside part is black okay so in the texture uh, in the texture uh, nodes we will be assembling those two together okay to create a new texture so we add the texture and we call it pupil nodes Okay, and uh, we will say use nodes. Mm, the basic, the, the first colors we will use, the, the texture will be made of our pupil background. Okay, like this first. Just to make sure it works, I'm going back to the 
uh, material nodes and now instead of the material I want to add texture and color choose like this and choose the uh, pupil nodes okay so if I render it it should stay the same okay so now the material will we will stay like this we will work from now only in the uh, we still need the material pupil yes because I need to see this list so if you don't see this list just add the material node in the uh, in the material uh, node panel select it and you can see only these textures now that I said uh, that I want just the color of the pupil nodes texture, okay, it doesn't matter here whether you activate or deactivate them here. They have no effect. As you can see, they're having an effect on the material, but we are not using its color output. So just, just ignore these checkboxes. Okay, back to our pupil background, uh, pupil nodes texture. Okay, so the pupil nodes. This is the node setup for the texture that will assemble all the textures into one. So we have the background and the uh, let's call it pupil reflection. Let's assemble those two. In this in this third texture, so we already have the first one. I'm going to add the second one. Pupil reflection, okay. And to mix them, you need an a color mix, okay. And now I'm going to add the colors. Okay, so as you can see, if I do a test render, sometimes I don't know why Blender doesn't update with the first render, so just render a second time. Uh, as you can see now, the, the reflection is right at the center of the eye, and this doesn't look very good. We want the um, reflection to be uh, not, not centered. Okay, so we will do it now. You add a... Uh, distort translate node and then you can also add a scale node so I prefer to put it in the scale before so now we can say that uh, we want the reflection more uh, bigger or smaller using these numbers and then we can uh, change its position relatively to the center of the, the pupil with with these numbers okay so I'm just going to uh, change the scale to something uh, smaller so the scale works in the uh, inverse okay if 2 means it's twice as small and for the translating let's put it to the, to the right Oh, to the left, sorry. let's put it to right. So mo point minus, uh, minus point 0.5 and to the top should be point 0.5, no, minus point 0.5. Or maybe let's let's leave it to the, to the bottom, it looks quite good. Save, do a test render. Oh, it's starting to look good. So now that you understand this technique, you can add as many um, as many reflections as you want just select those nodes duplicate them and then you plug them into the with the rest like this 
And now you can add an, a second reflection by translating it. For example, minus point point five or point three, and then point minus point two, and let's make it smaller, like four. Okay, and here we are, second reflection. Okay, so this is the basics of uh, rendering the pupil of our eye uh, without using a texture, an image texture. Everything is done with this, inside Blender.